own soul say. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people. Right. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this bite. I'm gonna start at verse eight, but here, but this is how we know the people that we're dealing with because what God says, not because of my own experience, but I'm gonna show you what God says about the children of Israel. Watch this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse eight. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book. So the table in the book is the Bible. It says, note this, come on. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Meaning today and beyond, watch this. That this is a rebellious people. You see what the Bible says about the so-called Negro? That's how we know that we the children of the book. Nobody's more hard-headed than black people. Good. Nobody. Read it again. That this is a rebellious people. Uh -huh. Lying children. And we always lying. It's Saturday, 12 o'clock. You say, brother, you got five minutes. Man, I got somewhere to be. It's Saturday, brother. You walking up and down the block. Every day, all day. Going nowhere but to perdition if you don't repent. Read it again. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. That's how we know. that When we read what the Bible says and we look at the road, who rebels the most? Nobody's more rebellious than the so-called Negro. Right. Hands down. Right. Hands down. Hands down. Come on which say to the seers and that's what they say to us see not that's what the one brother was saying when, when we was talking about the, the sister's blonde hair the reason why she blondes her hair because her self-worth and image was destroyed as a result of slavery so when we try to build it up we got some old fool telling the sister it don't matter when this sister hates her appearance right. that's, a, that's the old fool that says to us the seers don't see that evil Color don't matter. Christ ain't had no color. Right. So Christ was the invisible man on the earth. So it was just a naked crucifix up. Just They just threw a crucifix up there. You couldn't see who it was on. That's the stupidity of our people. Read it again. Which say to the seers, see not. Don't see the evil that we doing. We love getting our coon on for the white man. Come on. And to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Now, so we don't want to hear the right stuff coming out of the Bible. What do, the, what do black people like to hear? That's why they line Negroes up every four years to hear this. Speak unto us smooth things. Joe Biden going to save you. That's, that's the game they ran on the Negro. First they got the Negro with Barack Obama twice. Damn. Then they come back and fry the Negro with Joe Biden. Joe Biden get on TV two days ago and say, look. You dumb niggas about to starve to death because of this war going on in Ukraine. Negroes like, yes, yes. <laughs> Literally got on TV and said that the famine is coming, it's going to be real. And our people just sitting around here, walking up and down the street. You ain't got time for that. Okay, right. 
When that belly touching that spine, Negroes, Negroes gonna be all ears in that day. And that day is coming very soon. Look at the grocery stores, brother. Look at the grocery stores. You know what's bad when Negro can't even get a PlayStation 5. Right. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? When, when a Negro ever couldn't buy a PlayStation 5? Come on, man. That right there in itself let you know things about to get crazy. Come on. Speak unto us smooth things. Right, that's what our people love to hear. Like he's had them politicians walk through here talking all that bullshit. I'm going to just tell you straight. But yet they, they got a go slow campaign to tell you how to safely use fentanyl. They're not even telling you don't use it no more. Right. They tell you, then they got 911 at the bottom. But look at the sign though. I, turn around and look at the sign. Look at the mockery at the bottom right corner. It says be more power and they got a symbol of black fist in the air. Which actually stood for black pride and solidarity in the 60s and 70s. They just mock us. They just fall out laughing. They just come through here and just be screaming laughing when they get back to their office. Right. Literally just die. And that's in the Bible. Find me that we're talking about that they that we uh, 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 uh mock, that they mock us, that they laugh at us. Yeah, let them niggas kill each other. Right. It's in lamentation. Literally the Bible got it all recorded. They just 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 knee slapping and laughing at the foolery of the Negro. We got sisters fighting one another over weaves and the beauty supply. Brothers shooting themselves over corners they don't even own. They just falling out laughing. Watch this. Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 15. All that pass by, clap their hands at thee. They clap their hands. They just, damn, look at them niggas. Them, we did a number on them Negroes there. They just falling out laughing. Come on. They hiss. They hiss. They go, look at this. That's what they do. Come on. They hiss and wag their head. They wag their head. They come through here like you see a white lady jogging. She, you know, a Negro don't even touch her either. She's just laughing. She's just saying, she tell her husband, look, look, Charles or, or, or Hank, I'm going, I'm going to take a jog through the zoo. I'm going to jog up uh, Penn North. And, and, Negro don't got no problem with it. You know, you walk on the same block as a brother and bump into the brother. The brother puts you to death. Look at that. We ain't got no problem with that. Sister OD right there, hide her mind or something. We ain't got a problem. That's normal to us. You don't got a problem with that? That's what I'm saying. Like, nobody got a problem with that. That's what, give me Ecclesiastes 7, man. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. That's why we got to turn it. That, that makes us mad as hell, I'm going to tell you straight. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression makes. What? Surely oppression. It says oppression does what? Make it a wise man mad. Makes a wise man mad. That pisses us off. But you know, that's how you know we're the people of the book because the Bible says we are foolish people. Right. Oh, you got to be a fool not to be mad. That's a, 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 a daughter. A Sarah sitting out there, princess of the most high God, overdosing right there, and nobody gives a damn. We got a little, it was a little girl or something, I don't know what she was. Right there, look at that. Little girl walking up and down the street, in the middle of the street, don't nobody give a damn. And then a Negro come up on us and call and say, we hate you. We just dumb. All right, brother, so yeah, you need to listen, and you got to get yourself together, brother. No, we come together as the children of Israel, blacks, yeah, Hispanics, yeah, right. Right. and Native Americans. Yeah, right. We not come together with the white man. Is this this what you see right here is a result of, of putting our heads up the white man's ass? We couldn't wait to sit on his toilet. We couldn't wait to get integrated and all that. Look at this. Look at what. Look at the fruits of integration in Baltimore. You tell me what part of the deal have we benefited from? You are older, brother. Where have we benefited? We still in slavery, it's just different ways. Right, but I'm, I'm just asking. Since we've been voting and doing this, doing we that. We haven't. We haven't. So, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing for the other. Expecting different results. There you go. That's letting you know our people are mentally ill. Are you from the tribe group? And all praises, brother. So you need to get this work. You got a question, my brother? Uh, every time y'all come, I like to hear you. Okay. Hear, 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 okay. Talk about it. Okay. All praise, but you know what, though? Give me Psalms 96. What's that? 
Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Yeah, give me that. Watch this. Like, it's all good. We appreciate everybody listening. But the Lord is looking for men of action. The Lord is looking for men that's going to stand up. Because we like, we do, a, black people do a lot of listening. Got all y'all listening and everything. All praise. But brother, you got to you gotta start keeping the commandments, brother. Right. That's the only way we're going to change our community. Right, right, right. But it ain't me. That's what the scriptures say. So we 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 just literally unprofitable service, lead, reading message. Watch this. Psalms chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? That's the question that the Lord is gonna ask. Barack Obama didn't rise up for the Lord against the evil doers. He was an evil doer. Right. When did Barack Obama get a Negro? Transgenders and 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 men and women bathroom, co-ed bathroom. Brother, you need to take that hat off and throw that straight in the garbage. Right. That man, and they call him the Moses of our time. Moses led us out of captivity. Right. He brought us further into captivity. You know, he's the one that normalized homosexuality in the black community. Right. There were no black folk before 2008 talking about no damn transgender. Oh, you a transgender? You thought you were talking about a damn uh, uh, transmission. Right. You know what? That's true. They use, they put a black face on a white agenda. And they just ran game on black because they know what, go back to Isaiah. We'll see what Isaiah got to say. Isaiah chapter 30. No, I want Jeremiah 4 and 22. I think that's what I want. That's, this, is, this is why they run game on black people. Because this is what the white man know that the Negro don't know. Is that what I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. Jeremiah. Chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. God said his people is foolish. Come on. For my people is foolish. Uh -huh. They have not known me. They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. You see that? The Bible says the Negro and a Latino and Native American, we wise to do evil. Come on. But to do good. They have no knowledge. You hear that? We don't have no idea how to do good. What's your question, brother? No, they told me come up here. All right, so you, so your father is, you Seminole Indian? Yeah. Right, so you got to get yourself together, brother. You got a, you got a drug problem? Okay, yeah, that's that right there. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. And the reason why you have those problems is a result of this right here. This destruction. Look at your look at your ancestors before they were destroyed by the white man. I don't know. We used to be able to cast like some. Right. There's a book called The Chesapeake. And it was about written in like the 1800s. It was about how before the white man came over, Native Americans could walk out into the right. Chesapeake Bay and grab a clam or oyster this big. And it was like the Bahamas, right. But we ain't supposed to be eating. Blue, like right. It was blue. We ain't supposed, supposed to be eating the oysters though. Blue. But yes, before he came over right, here right, and, and bought his blue. filth over, he bought rats. He bought all kinds of mess over there, wasn't over here. Killed the dodo bird and everything. Watch this. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the Bible says the law of the Lord is perfect. One of the laws is having your hat removed when the Bible is coming out. That's a perfect law, but to show respect to this man, because look, you got Barack Obama on your head, but this guy is supposed to be on your head. So when the scriptures is coming out, that's supposed to be that all praise, brother. Give the brother a round of applause. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta separate. We're gonna get that in Revelation 18 and 4. You gotta come out of that, that political mess. That mess is a trap and it's a snare. It has nothing to do with us. Think about it. Why would they empower you with a system that they set up to overthrow themselves? That's a trap, brother. So, so we like rats on a rat wheel. Watch this. Come on, read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So only the laws of God can change our mind. Only laws of God can change our mind. Look at this. Look at this. You know, they got grant money to come over here. They might be one of the Afghani families. Or they just said that the damn uh, Ukrainians could come over here. They gave them $500,000 $500, to come over here. Your ancestors built this country, and you got a pissy corner. They come on. They just walk through the neighborhood. Don't nobody say nothing. Nobody got a problem with that. I don't see my people anywhere. No, you don't. I, 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 you know, I'm hard pressed to see two so-called Native Americans at one time. Right. But yet, but guess what? The Afghani man 
He come over here, he get half a million dollars. He get he get Airbnb housing. Right. And you your forefathers built the damn country and you living in dilapidated buildings and we not mad about that. And we talking about Go Joe and Kamala. Right. We just dumb. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the law of the Lord is perfect. That's why we be mad as hell we come out here, because the Bible tells us to be mad at the oppression. Come on. Converting the soul. Our minds is converted. Many brothers was Democrats, Republicans, pimps, hoes, drug dealers, all that, before we heard the scriptures and changed our life. Y'all ain't doing nothing that we ain't done out here. That's why the Lord gave us authority to be out here. Come on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Uh -huh. Making wise the simple. You see what the Bible does? It said making wise the simple. So what is it saying that we are simple-minded people without the Bible? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.